Hello, I'd like to share some information with you today in regards to ways to relieve stress um, in regards to money or finances. This information is coming from VeryWellMind.com, written by Elizabeth Scott and medically reviewed by David Sussman. So, money stress can arise from a range of sources. Sometimes it's the result of not managing it wisely, but often caused by not making enough money to meet the basic needs such as affordable rent, uh, groceries, paying uh, for both regular and unexpected expenses. All of um, the things that can lead to chronic stress that contribute to a wide range of um, health, physical, mental health uh, concerns. So how to track your finances. If finances are causing you stress, it's first, the first step, excuse me, is often taking a serious look at your monthly budget. There may be opportunities to make adjustments in monthly spending by just addressing some aspects of money related stress. To get a clearer picture of your financial situation, write down uh, the total household income Record every source of income in your household. Track how much you're spending each month. Save every receipt for the month, even if it's small, meaningless expense. Make a list of all debts, including credit cards, monthly mortgages, rent, other loans, late fees, anyone that you may owe money to. Uh, keep a money journal, write down events that trigger an urge to overspend. For example, you might find yourself um, likely to spend money when you're bored, tired, stressed, sad, happy. Create a budget, include your necessary monthly household, um, housing, excuse me, housing, food and transportation expenses. Budget for those costs, including setting aside money for unexpected costs. Start small. Once you have a better idea of your income, your incoming funds, and where those funds are going, you can start looking for opportunities to make small changes that may ease the stress. However, it isn't it essential to remember that every person's situation is unique. In some cases, money stress may be due to such situations as compulsive buying behavior, gambling disorder, overspend or overspending cause caused by a mental health condition or diagnosis. In these such cases, it is important to um, connect with a mental health professional. Uh, also, you can speak to a financial professional if you are able to. Talking to a financial counselor may be helpful if you're dealing with financial worries or debt problems that seem uh, kind of impossible to get out of. They may advise you on creating a budget, restructuring current debts, paying down high interest debt, cutting out unnecessary spending, working on creditors to repay them back, finding additional sources of income, applying for available resources for financial assistance. Taking small steps today can lead to progress in the long run that makes it easier for you to handle stress about money. Kind of explore ways to tackle debt, right? So you want to consider changing your previous spending habits by replacing it with another of life's pleasures that will would cost nothing or at least something that costs less. Kind of experiment, experiment with what provides you with the greatest level of savings with the least amount of stress um, to do what works for you. But any changes that you make, this direction can reduce stress by ha helping you save. Kind of being smart with spending will also be helpful. Um, spending less can reduce less stress. So give yourself time to adjust, excuse me. This often eases, is easier said than done, particularly if you shop due to stress. However, you may find that this becomes easier over time. Sell things that you do not need. Spend on experiences. Instead of spending on more stuff, consider spending on taking classes, going on vacation with your family, or doing something that would create positive memories, enrich your life, and combat burnout. 
So adjusting your spending habits can take time. Be easy on yourself and invest in things that are uh, really important to you. This strategy will help you maintain uh, the motivation to change your spending habits and relieve stress. And again, I am not a financial advisor. I also um, forgot to kind of uh, give that a caveat. Um, uh, check in, check with your coping strategies. Um, what that kind of means is that if you find yourself falling back on coping strategies that are not good for your mental or physical health, it will be helpful to look at other techniques that will uh, benefit or help you with money stressors. Get emotional support. Talking to someone such as a trusted friend or online support group can help you cope with money stressors and other challenges that you may be facing. Practice stress reducing strategies. Um, it's essential to find ways to take care of yourself and protect your mental well being in the present moment. Some strategies that can be assistance or helpful with money stress include um, getting enough sleep, engaging in regular physical activity practicing relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, journaling, particularly focus on gratitude, mindfulness, vis visualization, progress, muscle relaxation, uh, meditation, yoga. Um, it's important for you to take care of yourself and your health when you're dealing with money stressors. Sleep, exercise, stress management, techniques can help you deal with some of these stressors. So money can be one of the top sources of stress for many people. While there are steps that you can take to help improve your financial situation and deal with some of the things that you that are stressing you out, most of these things are not quick and easy fixes. They take time and often years to work to achieve them. Um, consider activities that will support your well-being and resilience, including getting enough rest, staying active, and using relaxation techniques uh, to ease your anxiety. And or if you're feeling like um, you're needing more support, I would definitely say reach out to a mental health provider so that they can assist you in identifying um what kind of is has not or is not working for you and help support you with the goal that you're seeking and uh, lessening or reducing those financial stressors. So thank you for taking the time out to listen. I hope you enjoy the remainder of your day.